What's up, Hoop fans? We're back with another video analysis. In this video, we're breaking down the Greek Derby, focusing on how Coach Bartsokas' Olympiakos triumphed over Panathinaikos. We'll investigate their drop defense on Kendrick Nunn and the switch defense approach for Kostas Slukas. So stay tuned, this will be a hardcore basketball dissection. But before we jump into the details, there's something I have to tell you. Here's something interesting. 87% of viewers aren't subscribed yet. If you're enjoying my content and haven't hit that subscribe button, I'd truly appreciate it. It's a small action from you, but it's a big encouragement for me to deliver even better content day by day. If you feel like going the extra mile, there's a buy me a coffee link in the description. Remember, every like, share, and subscription goes a long way in growing this channel. Thank you for your support and for being a part of this journey with me. In this matchup, Olympiakos' coach Bartsokas had a decisive defensive game plan. He used Kostas Papanikolaou, supplemented at times by McKissick or Peters, to face off against one of the best pick-and-roll players in the league, Kostas Slukas. To counter Slukas' skill in reading the pick-and-roll defense, the strategy was to force a switch on the ball screen, with Olympiakos' big man staying with Slukas, making it challenging for him to execute his usual plays. At the same time, Olympiakos' forwards were put to task, fronting Lessort, effectively blocking the low post entry. Worthy of note is that Lessort ended up playing almost 33 minutes, longer than any player from the Reds, and even more than Olympiakos' big men, Fall and Wright, who clocked in 24 and 15 minutes respectively. A closer look at the numbers from 3stepsbasket.com reveals Panathinaikos' challenging performance. All-time season lows with just 65 points scored, only 12.9 assists per 100 possessions, and a high 25.7 turnovers per 100 possessions. Even though Slukas showed his capabilities in reading the switch, successfully executing a few low post entries and attempting to find opportunities for teammates by skipping the ball, his performance was uncharacteristically restrained due to Olympiakos' tactical defense. The numbers speak the truth. His 20-minute play yielded only seven points, three assists, one turnover, and he made one of four three-pointers and one of three two-pointers, while his plus-minus was minus seven. As we navigate through the strategies and stories on the court, we extend our sincere appreciation to our sponsor, Ultimate Champions. This unique, free-to-play basketball fantasy game not only brings you closer to the Euro League and Euro Cup, but also turns you into a participant. Ultimate Champions offers you the chance for real-world financial rewards. But here's another exciting opportunity. By clicking the affiliate link in the description and creating an account, you'll automatically enter a giveaway where we're handing out four tickets to see the thrilling final regular season game between Olympiakos and Fenerbahce at the Peace and Friendship Stadium. You're not just watching the game with Ultimate Champions, you're living it. Tap into this experience, join their community, and be an integral part of the excitement. With Olympiakos' defensive game plan successfully flustering Slukas in this match, it might be easy to forget just how skilled Slukas is, particularly when it comes to navigating the pick and roll. So, in order to appreciate the effectiveness of the defensive barrier Olympiakos constructed, let's turn back the clock and take a look at some standout pick and roll executions from Slukas.
Switching gears to another pivotal matchup, let's discuss how Coach Bartzokas tackled Kendrick Nunn, one of the top scorers in the league. When Thomas Walkup wasn't defending Nunn, the Reds used the same approach as they did with Slukas, switching and fronting the post. But when Walkup was on Nunn, the Reds implemented a drop defense strategy. Walkup delivered an excellent example of how a ball handler's defender should operate in a drop coverage situation, all while playing with an injury. Despite this strategic defense, Nunn managed to score 17 points, including an impressive four of five three-pointers made, two of six two-pointers made, and gave two assists. However, he also had a season high of seven turnovers. Nunn's early three-point scores came against guard Isaiah Kanan, who was particularly targeted as per instructions from coach Adamon. One more time, one down five. Now we attack to Cannon. We attack to Cannon. One. All cup is out. One down five. Good. And follow to the rebound after today. Okay. Later in the game, during the third and fourth quarters, Nunn knocked down some incredibly challenging three-point shots, keeping the greens in the hunt. Let's take an in-depth look at how the Reds managed to unsettle Kendrick Nunn, one of the league's best scorers. After the ball screen, Wright positions himself in an aggressive drop stance to prevent Nunn from taking mid-range shots, which he is notably efficient at. Meanwhile, Walkup is in the rearview pursuit, tailing Nunn and attempting to make a poke steal. Walkup, however, gets disrupted by Lasort, forcing Wright to stick to Nunn. This situation then compels McKissick to step in and tag Lasort. The same tactics unfold in the upcoming sequences. Wright steadfastly maintaining an aggressive drop position, Walkup persistently rallying with rearview pursuit, and his recurring attempts to unsettle Nunn with a poke steal. Observe how Walkup maneuvers his body during screens, creating a sense of constant pressure on Nunn. His movement around Nunn is so constant, it gives the illusion that he's always within reach. In the following plays, note the instances where Walkup successfully denies Nunn the ball. As earlier stated, Nunn contributed significantly to Panathinaikos' turnovers, with 7 out of the total 18. Besides the prevailing physical defense exerted by the Reds, and specifically by Walkup, a considerable number of these turnovers can be attributed to Nunn's decision-making errors, particularly during his drives to the basket. The steals made by the Reds almost seem too easy, as if they were merely waiting to catch the ball. In the upcoming sequences, take note of how the physical defense from Olympiakos has managed to force the Panathinaikos players into committing turnovers. Also, focus on a few straightforward turnovers by the Greens that occurred without significant defensive pressure.
As an added bonus to this defensive breakdown, let's take a moment to appreciate Moses Wright's excellent performance against the Greens. Wright made a perfect 9 of 9 two-pointers, grabbed three rebounds, provided an assist, and made a steal. He demonstrated masterful offense, giving Lesor a taste of his own medicine by attacking the basket with unrelenting aggression. Just five minutes on the floor, and now he's back to steal. Off to the races, swoop! Rotated to Moses Wright, who attacks, spins. Oh my goodness! And delivers a two-fisted face! Lurking. Moses Wright with the shot clock in the red, no travel. Potters driving, floats it up, tough catch. Moses Wright who goes up strong, tries to reverse off the mark. And the re rebound secured, as is the stick back by Moses Wright.